What's up everybody, 915 Mang here. Picked up a few goodies from uh, Marine Depot. Picked up a Niles Alkalinity testing kit and some Acro Power for my 180. Niles is a good quality German test kit. It is uh, pretty simple, good for 50 tests, up to 50 tests. And uh, the price tag on this thing is like $14. So uh, that's right around the price range that I want to spend. And uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to use this. I did buy this. I used this on the uh, President's Day sale that they had. Um, I had a coupon. I used it, and uh, that's why I got it at a good price. Alkalinity is one of those things that you got to keep your eye on. Uh, you know, little swings, big swings could most definitely make a difference. You want to keep things as stable as you can. And that's one of those things that uh, you do got to test out on your reef tank. If you um, haven't been testing like me, uh, you're going to run into some problems. You know, as you know, I've had bleaching and, uh, you know, the corals will come back hopefully. But uh, this test kit is going to try to help me be a better reefer and test and dial in so I can start dosing again. As you can see, the uh, bottles, pretty nice. Tells you how many to drop in there and um, two bottles it came with a, two bottles and uh, instructions which is uh, something that I really don't care for instructions I'm more of a picture guy look at the pictures look at the diagram and there you go as you can see it tells you by the number step one pull five milliliters of tank water out step two do two drops of the bottle uh, step three shake it around step four Pit, uh two bottle the channel two bottle in there and for every drop that you pit in there is what your alkalinity is at your carbonate hardiness uh, is going to be at this is a very easy test and i'm going to show you how easy it is and uh, i think i'm going to go ahead and stick with this test kit and it's going to be my test kit from uh now on step one you know draw your five milliliters of water too easy. Step two, go ahead and open up that bottle called uh, number one and drop two drops in there. You see the two drops. And uh, let's just go ahead and make a quick admin note. Don't forget to watch that last video. Um, it's been a crazy week. One, the, the video with uh, Tim's tank leaking. I'll put that right here. But also you want to check out the video that I did, the 180. Uh, there's some good information in that. And if uh, you miss it, you're going to probably miss out. I do want to go ahead and mention that the tube that uh, holds the 5 milliliters of water, it is plastic. So I was pretty happy about that. I've seen uh, other test tubes where they're glass. The APIs are glass. The Red Seas are glass. Um, but this one is uh, plastic, really easy to wash, and I'm really happy with that. Um, I just finished doing the second drop. Turns the water blue. Now it's time for the other other bottle. Every drop, like I said, is your alkalinity. So if it's five drops, then your alkalinity would be at five, and you would need to adjust from there. What I did do is I put the glass on a, some white background, in this case being a paper towel, so that way you can see the uh, true color change a lot easier. My table is um, brown, and with this, it'll be a lot easier for me to see when the color changes. And go from there. I'm going to go ahead and speed this test up for you so it's not so boring. As you can see, it's pretty easy. This is as easy as the API test kits. The API test kits are probably the easiest ones out there. Uh, they are reliable, but this one um, I feel it's a little bit better because it's from uh, NIOS. Um, so, you know, a lot of people use the APIs, but this one's pretty easy, you know. Uh, supposed to be engineered and all that good stuff so I'm gonna save up and start buying the Niles brand of test kits you know they are kind of pricey this one wasn't too bad but the other ones are like in the 20 ish dollar amount so um, I know it's probably easier if I just buy a uh, Hannah check or something like that but I like the drop method it's pretty easy for me now I'm not the only one that liked this test kit I did pit it away. I cleaned it up not real nice. 
and I left it on the table. Well, come to find out, my dog got a hold of it. This is the aftermath of it. Ripped up the box, leaked it all over the place on my couch, and uh, really, really sucked. Um, as you can see, the damage, you know, this is from my uh, German Shepherd. Uh, you know, <laughs> what can I say except, yeah, this shit is leaking all over the place. Just barely got it and um, already damaged. So I did go ahead and order the test kit again. Um, I ordered this, ordered the uh, nitrate, and uh, that's about it. So there goes for the uh, NIOS alkalinity test. And here's the uh, dog in action. You can see her creep up on the table and uh, shortly after destroy my uh, test kit. So you guys have a good one. It happens. You guys take care and uh, subscribe.